So next we move on to the concept of simultaneous assignment. Now in most programming languages you don't have a simultaneous assignment command, but we're going to see later on that this is going to become very handy in weeks 4 through 6. Consider the command xyz simultaneously become expression 0, expression 1 and expression 2 where x, y, and z have to be distinct variables because otherwise you don't know which expression actually gets assigned to the variable that's repeated. So, what does this do? It simultaneously updates all of these variables with the corresponding expressions. And if any of the variables on the left appear in any of the expressions on the right, then you use the original contents of those variables rather than the updated ones. And obviously, if there are only two variables there, then you only have two expressions on the right, and you can have more than three variables there as well. So how do we define the weakest precondition for this command? Well, the expressions obviously have to be valid. And then you simultaneously substitute expressions E0, E1, and E2 for the corresponding free occurrences of variables x, y, and z. And again, this obviously extends to the case where you only have two variables and two expressions, or where you have more than three variables and expressions. In general, this is not the same as assigning e0 to x and then assigning e1 to y and then assigning e2 to z. Now why is that? Well, look at the weakest precondition of that. You take your postcondition R, you replace every occurrence of Z with E2, and then you take every occurrence of Y and replace it with E1. Hmm. Notice that if Y occurs in E2, then this may not give the same result. And then finally, you replace every occurrence of X with E0, and again, if X occurred in E1 or in E2, then you get something different than when you replace simultaneously every occurrence for, of x, y, and z with the expressions e0, e1, and e2, respectively. Here is a code segment that presumably exchanges the values of variables x and y. Is this a correct code segment? Go and do the homework, and I'll see you in the next video.